All right, so we're having an argument. Currently 1924, its current price, SRP, is 115, right? In our market, 120 roughly, right? We can pick it up around 150. 150 bucks is what it's going for. Yes. High price on this, which has angered some people in the Chattanooga Bourbon Society, 120 bucks. We see this guy go for about 89 on average around here. 89 to 120. This one's 120. Probably currently selling at 150. 150. Okay. I got mine for 150. So my argument is this is the best bottle for 50 to 60 dollars. Yes, I, I, unfortunately, Ooh. Old Forester, 50 Whoa. or 60 bucks, this is the best bottle I could buy. Okay. 115, 120, when I can pick this up for the same price, you can kiss it. I'm, I'm, I'm really? picking this bottle up every time. Really? Yep. Is, it, is, it strictly on the, is it strictly on the proof? Uh, no, I, I, I enjoy the flavor profile and enjoy the palate. So okay. what we're gonna do here is spin your chair around. All right, let's face the banner. Face the banner. Face the banner. <laughs> All right, so All right. on screen, we are going to pour him a couple pours. We're going to be polite tonight. We're going to do small pours. So we're going to go ahead and give it just enough for a flavor. This is crazy that this conversation came to be because Old Forester. Yep. In March. You can roll around. One of my favorite brands. I love everything Old Forester puts out. It doesn't so, matter what it is. So I, I, I don't. Um, really? Yep. Uh, I'm a 1920 guy. Okay. 1920. Okay. It's a home run for me. 1910. Yeah. Not. Is it? <sighs> is it the proof or the lack of proof? It, it, or? It's the flavor profile for me. Really? Uh, okay. Proof's okay. Any of the 18s? Mm -hmm. the, the other two 18s for the, the road. 1870 and yeah. Yeah. So those two are not great for me. Okay. I mean, it, none of it's horrible, right? True, it's palatable. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely drinking it if you're pouring it. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. So, so, but if I'm buying and if I'm choosing, okay, I would regularly buy 1920. 1924 would beat the heck out of 1920 by far. Yes, if it played in the same price range. That's that's, that, that, that's, that's my, the deciding factor. That, that that's my argument. Okay. So what we're going to do here is right. we are going to give these two a go. Okay. I don't know which one is which. Nope, nope, not gonna nope. tell me anything. Okay, so can I just say my argument first before? Yeah, I... please, please. So my argument was that if they were the exact same price, nineteen twenty four by far, not by the proof point by any means, but by the flavor profile. I like nineteen twenty four's flavor profile. It's and this is where we complex. This is where we called his bluff. We're we're gonna put them <laughs> up side by side. That, that that that's what got this conversation going. And here we are. All right, no words need to be said. Let's see. This one has a stronger nose. Okay. You sure that one's got a stronger nose? I mean, What's going yes, on in your mind? I mean, number two has a stronger nose, okay. in my opinion. Okay, fair. You, you're free to give it no, a no, 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 Take that with a grain of salt and, or into account. What are you getting on flavor profile? What, what are you thinking? What are you... I would say this is 24. Okay. Ooh. It, it, it's a hard game to play. It is. It's a very hard I mean, game to play. side by side, they're both great. Okay. That's something we can't argue. These are no. both fantastic Absolutely. bottles. Absolutely. Absolutely, but if you had a shelf, you had a decision to make. The store owner side by side. The store owner is telling you you can pick one. Which one are you choosing? And the reason I say 1924 because I just tried it last night. Okay. But funny enough, I had the single barrel staring at me in my face, right to my right. <laughs> <laughs> so I could have did this. I could have done this test last night when I got the 24. Okay. Uh, so this is last year's. Uh, D and W Whiskey Society release, mm -hmm. one hundred and thirty point eight. Yep, it is going to be Warehouse K. Yep, floor, floor one. one. Yep. So that's what you're looking at there. I'm going to go number two. This one. That one. That one wins. That one wins. He picked the nineteen twenty four. He was telling the truth. I was telling the truth. I'm telling you, the, the 1924, the nose is yep. way more intense right now. And this is 
I mean, it could be because that one's been open longer. Yep. Who knows? But right now, that nose on the on 1924 is way more intense. They have similar flavor profiles. Yeah. I will say yeah. that. They yeah, have yeah, yeah. similar flavor profiles, but the 1924 is has a, a much... It doesn't drink at 100 proof. And I think that's the the concern or the misinterpretation that we're getting yeah. is that it's 100 proof versus 130. That's fair. 1924 does not drink at 100. If you're a high proof lover and you're kind of scared off by the 100 proof label, it doesn't taste yeah, like 100 proof. It. it doesn't taste like 100 No, proof. no, that's fair. It is a good quality bourbon that is approachable to all bourbon drinkers. Okay, so let's go back to my original argument. Okay, let's hear it. Is it $115 good? This bottle you can get for 90 bucks. Get for 90. This one's another 20. That is another 20. 25. Old Forester is one of my favorite brands because I like majority, if not all of what they put out. They put out solid product, no yeah, matter what you, it is. You, that, there's no argument there to be happy. So, the 30 bucks difference. Is it there? I could, uh, so I, could, I can easily find a single barrel compared to the 24. So I would go for the single barrel. If you jump onto my channel, this is one of the bottles that we do for the buyer bust. For me, yeah, that's a one-time buy. Really? At, at the price point it is. At the price point. Okay, this, I get this that. is an amazing bottle. It is. 100%, it is a very good bottle. It is. At the price point, I'm buying it once. I'm trying I, it. I get that. And I'm enjoying it, and I love it. For Did you pour market, that? For our market specifically, though, 150, the $150 range, you can get a Van Winkle 10-year. Yep. Old Rip Van Winkle 10 year for 150. This has got to come down. Old Forester, this has got to come down. 89, 90 bucks. Yes, yes. Uh, I could pay that. If it's an 80, 90 dollar bottle, I'm buying that all day, every day. Uh, I could pay that. I would much yeah. rather pay 60 bucks for it. I'd much rather pay 60 for it all day long. Good luck with that one. Yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> but it is enjoyable. If you guys have the chance to pick one up, I'd suggest it at least once. If you can't get a pour, absolutely. This bottle at least is once. definitely worth a snag to at least have one on the shelf. At least once. Yep. It is a great, it's an enjoyable bottle, man. I'm yeah, trying, I'm trying to absolutely. Tell you. Yeah. It is. It's just it's it's the argument of the price point. It's the argument of is it worth my wallet? Is it worth my shelf space? If you had this before, please comment below. Let us know what you actually think of it. I enjoy it, not as much as this guy, I enjoy but it. I, I do enjoy it. So let us know, we appreciate you guys. Cheers. Cheers. You guys have a good night.